Let's go back to the women's division now. Their third rotation, Kim Zemeskel gets ready to mount the balance beam. Unlike Erica Stokes, Kim doesn't have one trademark spectacular skill in their routine. She's great because her difficulty is distributed throughout her routine. She's so solid on this event. Here's one of her requirements, the acrobatic skill into the dance element. And she's preparing for her first tumbling combination, back handspring, two layout. Rock solid. Kim is still looking, though, for her first gold medal in the individual finals. In the third rotation. And after the great job by Erica Stokes, it's going to be difficult. Kim will have to do a great routine here in order to take the gold. Here's her second tumbling combination, back handspring, layout. And actually, that's not a requirement. She puts two in there just to say, hey, look at me. I go for it. And isn't that the overall objective? Take some chances. Be as creative as possible in the event finals. And we're seeing it right now from Kim Zemeskel. Here comes her dismount. Round off, double back. Little hop and little landing, but that was a very solid, aggressive performance. So Zemeskel will try to top her teammate from Bella Caroli's gym, Erica Stokes. She performed a back handspring to two layout somersaults. Those are back flips in a stretch position, as you see there, with no hands. Well done. And her dismount is a round off, double back. We've talked a lot about difficulty. This is a D-level dismount. Nice height in the air, good rotation, and a little hop on the landing. She really doesn't need to cowboy or straddle her legs during her somersault. She has plenty of time. A 9-8 gives Kim Zemeskel the lead on the balance beam, but still consulting with Bella Caroli, her coach, because Bella knows she is capable of even more. We'll be right back to Denver. <laughs> 